Why Coventry of all places? I would suggest in New York, DC, big important places that already have transit systems. But here's the thing, for every large metropolis, there are many more smaller cities that are even less walkable, less beautiful, and more car dependent all over the world than even the largest of concrete jungles. And Coventry is quite infamous in fulfilling this mold. In fact, there's actually a whole Not Just Bikes video about it. But as we look towards the future, these cities will have to be addressed too in terms of fixing their car dependency. So let's see what transit development might look like for the city of Coventry. Coventry is home to around 350,000 people and does have a city center with a lot of great potential, with a couple of mainline trains running from all four directions, centered around Coventry Station. These rail tracks are the first place I'd look to in order to get a metro system going. Here's what that can look like with an orange A line running north-south, with a green B line running east-west, with the placement of new median stations along the current railways. Now, one of the goals of the metro system in Coventry should be to work to remove this wide ring road around the city center. For now, it is necessary, but the goal should be to get motorist demand down to the point where parts of the loop can be downgraded to a typical street, put underground, or removed entirely. That way, the city center could see an urbanist revival, and it'll be more integrated into the surrounding neighborhoods, rather than be a sort of island it currently is. This is a sort of urbanist revival that should happen in city centers all over the United States, as so many towns and cities were destroyed by the advent of highways and bulldozing done to make room for parking lots. The next line, the light blue sea line, would be a line starting southwest of the University of Warwick and going diagonally across the city with two new stops in the city center along the current loop road. From there, I would have this light red D line increase city center connectivity with a station right under Godiva Square, which is the main square in Coventry, and go west towards Alsley along Hollyhead Road. The E line would be this brown line that connects the main station to Godiva Square before covering the northern suburbs and eventually connecting with the C line at its terminus. The F line would run west east across the city, and the G line would run northwest to southeast but serve as a sort of circle line around the edges of the city center rather than go straight through it. This is to make sure that not every trip has to go through the city center. The last line there would be for this system is a sort of loop line around the outer suburbs, just to make sure that Metro covers suburb to suburb journeys. If I had to throw in just one last addition, it would be a crossrail sort of service that connects the A and B lines through the city center and only stopping at a few stations, mainly to facilitate demand for travel between mainly Birmingham and Nuneaton. Okay, so there it is. This is what is a supposed fully fleshed out transit map would look like for a small city like Coventry. And yeah, this seems more unrealistic than Greta Thunberg eating a pound of ribeye steak. But here's the good news. There are several small cities similar in size or smaller than Coventry that have extensive tram systems, even light rail and metro systems, and in poorer countries such as Italy's Catania Metro. And yeah, this is way, way, way more extensive than that. But this is also a long-term outline that, of course, would take decades to complete. It would most likely be light rail and incorporate a mix of underground, overground, and at-grade lining. I know there is the proposed Coventry Very Light Rail, which looks pretty cool and innovative, and that could work very nicely with the proposals I'm making here. It's going to be way cheaper and easier to install this sort of system than traditional light rail, and the world will be watching to see what happens with it since it could serve as a model for smaller cities that can't afford metro-grade service. In fact, it was Coventry being at the head of this innovation that led to them being the subject of today's fantasy map. Thank you all for watching.